When Dubs Cry is a very unique song, it's basically the same chords and the same pattern over and over, but it's arranged in such a way where you never think that that's the case. So let me show you how this works. The song starts off with an intro, a guitar intro, from Prince, and let's listen to that first. Now, a couple things happened there. The guitar solo began the song, and by the way, that's Prince playing up high around the 12th fret and using a Boss octave divider that brings it down an octave, so that's what you're hearing. And the drum machine, the drums actually are from a drum machine from the very, very first Lindrum LM1 drum machine, which Prince favored even over the later models that eventually came out. And what you're hearing here is some very interesting effects happening on the drum machine. First of all, listen to the kick drum. The kick drum has a very short reverb on it, which is very unusual. And it doesn't sound like a normal kick because it's very thin. So let's go right up to where it comes in, have a listen. Yes, you're listening to the kick drum right there. And it doesn't sound like it because there's no low end on it, but it doesn't matter because it works in context here. Now, the drum machine is also very interesting because one of the other sounds that you're going to hear is a side stick, but it's tuned down as low as it will go, so it sounds much bigger. So let me just play a little bit of that so you can hear it. Dig if you will the picture of you and I engaged in a kiss. The sweat of that's the sound that's happening on the left side, if you're listening on headphones, and it's happening on beat two. So beat two, you're hearing a side stick. It sounds much bigger than the side stick, and it should because it's tuned down a couple octaves. Now something else I want to bring to your notice, listen to Prince on the left-hand side, and then listen to how he's modulated and pans to the right. And in fact, what's happening here, I think this is on an old even tied harmonizer that's set to regeneration and as it regenerates is panned across the stereo spectrum. Let's listen to the verse. The verse, everything clears out except for the drum machine. And then halfway through the verse, which is 32 bars, the very first verse, you're going to hear a synth line come in. Dig if you will the picture of you and I engaged in a kiss. The sweat of the body covers me. Can you, my darling, can you picture this? Now what happened there right before the synth came in, in fact, was the lead line was doubled and then you heard a harmony, a three-part harmony that was very tightly put together. Animals strike curious poses. Bunch of things happen there. First of all, we got harmony and they're spread out left and right. And also we have ad libs that are happening. So let's listen one more time. We'll take it from there and we'll take it all the way to the chorus.
So what's happening is every eight bars, something new happens. Even though it's a very, very long verse, 32 bars, every eight bars, there's something new that's coming in. Either a doubled lead vocal, either a stacked harmony vocal, and then the last eight bars, there's actually female vocals that come in as well that double both the lead line and some of the harmonies. So now we get to the chorus. Listen to the chorus. Eight bar chorus, and what we're getting there is some ad libs that are happening, plus we're getting an effect. And again, this sounds like a harmonizer regeneration effect to me. Let's listen one more time. That right there, that's descending sound that's happening. Listen again. I take it back. I think that's a flanger, actually, in regeneration that we're hearing. Anyway, now we get to the second verse, and listen to what happens. The second verse is much shorter. In fact, now we're talking 24 bars instead of 32. So the very first part is eight bars, and then the line comes in, and then all of the stacked vocals. So here we go with the second verse. Touch it, you win my stomach. Feel how it trembles inside. So what we heard there was a double lead vocal, a lead vocal with female vocals added, and a completely different synth line that's happening in the background. So this differentiates the second verse very much from the first verse. Now let's go from the synth line. And of course, what's happening there in the second part of that verse, we're hearing Prince an octave down on lead vocal. So he's doubling his lead vocal only an octave down. It gives it a very distinct sound. And that's one of the sounds that Prince uses a lot, actually, on his records, where he's not afraid to sing low and he's not afraid to double much of what he's doing in a lower octave. Okay, now we're on to the second chorus. Actually, it's the third chorus since the song started with one. <laughs> So it starts out the same as the previous chorus, but it ends up differently. It sounds to me that there was an ad lib the Prince did that he really liked that he decided to expand on and add harmonies to, and it really sounds great. This is right at the end of this chorus. <laughs> Now what's happening there is we have an even shorter verse, this time it's 16 bars, but right away it's different because we have the synth playing chords, and these are the chords that you're going to hear for the rest of the song for the most part, and we're hearing lots of ad-libs, 
and we're hearing even more harmony that's happening. So it's a completely different sound. Here we go, one more time. How can you just leave me standing? Now the song changes in feel at this point, where what we're getting is a short breakdown with the synth chords continuing. But now everything sort of changes because there's a lot of ad-libs, there's a guitar solo, there's a synth solo that's coming in, but we're not going to hear any more written vocals. Listen one more time, we're gonna go from the bridge. Now, of course, what happened there was we heard a lot of vocals that were coming in. And there were male, there were prince, and there were female vocals that were spread out left and right. Listen one more time because it's pretty cool. What happened there was we have a guitar solo that's happening, we're having ad-libs, and of course Prince's unique way of arranging is he'll find an ad-lib that he really likes and he'll build on that and he'll make that into a part, usually with lots of stacked harmonies, and that's what he's doing here. The guitar is using that same boss octave pedal, that same sound, and that's what we're hearing. Now we get to a part that's mostly a vocal that's repeating. Now of course the other thing is all the parts are in. We heard the synth parts, the two synth parts, the line, the chorus line, the chords. Everything is there. So it's everything but the kitchen sink at this point. So now we get to a different part in the bridge. And this is mostly a vocal part. <laughs> This is a different part. It's basically the same thing over and over, but it's turned into a breakdown. And again, an ad lib is built upon. So now it sounds like a different part, even though it's pretty much the same thing over again. This breakdown here. Have a listen again. The Baroque synth was actually played at half speed, so Prince was able to play it. Prince played all the instruments on this song. But one thing you should keep in mind, again, this is back in the old analog days, the old 24-track days. So what's happening is all of these parts, the synth parts that sound so perfect, that sound like they're sequenced, they're not. These are played in live, so keep that in mind. Here we go now to kind of like a second bridge.
Now, there's a hard ending here, which kind of surprises you because you don't hear this often, especially when it plays on the radio. That being said, this is the one thing that's not particularly tight. There are a couple different releases that happen here. Kind of surprising for Prince because he's so precise. That being said, it's the end of a five-minute song, so it might not be that much of a big deal. But listen to it one more time as we hear, again, a synth played at half speed, and then we get the ending, the hard ending of the whole song. So there we go, a masterpiece, the song that broke Prince when doves cry. 